Chief is a family-owned, Nebraska-based company comprised of seven diverse brands. Chief, trusted, tested, true. All right, you guys, this is what we have left. That section right there and that section right there. And then we are done with Harvest 2023. I don't know about you guys, but that makes me really excited. Checking tractor oil here, filling them up, getting everything ready for the last day. My thinking is, is if I just say it's the last day enough times, it will be. Since we got this thing mid bean harvest, we have used 4,879 gallons in total. And some fuel has been pulled directly out of the fuel barrel for this thing. So that doesn't account for all of it, but that is most of it. So we'll get to right around 5,000 gallons. This combine is absolutely filthy. Look at the buildup around the lights. Just, this thing is covered in dirt. It wants a bath really bad. Everything's got a good layer of frost on it. There we go. She took 309 gallons of fuel. That was almost $1,200 to run that thing all day yesterday. Carter at the other end and Laura's been getting those ready to go. Just taking the ditch. She goes wherever she wants to. so curious to hear what are your favorite memories from this harvest i feel like do i have dirt all over my forehead sorry about that i feel like we've watched the kittens grow up i feel like we've had a lot of breakdowns but we've triumphed over them together i feel like i've learned a lot about different machinery gotten way more comfortable driving a semi truck that's probably my biggest accomplishment from this harvest is improving my skill set there and I feel like I've really become a more valuable asset to the operation because of that. Somebody miscounted, not sure who. So instead of taking 12 rows and then having one row of shame, I'm going to take six down and seven back. It would not be harvest if this didn't happen. Just happened to happen on the last day. I'm mapping out our plan for how we're going to finish. Down, back, down, back, down, back. Just like that. Every one of those little lines, that's a pass, a 12 row pass. You guys see that coyote running? It's probably chasing all the rabbits and snakes that I'm chasing out of the field. It blends in perfectly, so camouflaged. And here we have it, the last pass of Harvest 2023. We're on the last strip of corn here for 2023. I'm so glad we're here. Just about finished up. We got about ooh, less than a quarter mile to go. Laura's in the combine, and I'm just out here watching. The last unload for the year. Ah, oh, what a sight to see. It's gonna be some tight quarters. The pivot points right here, and these are the last 12 rows. 
corner head will sneak up underneath the undercarriage of the pivot, and hopefully the combine's skinny enough it doesn't hit it. Here we go, here's the last of it. Oh look, a pheasant! A pheasant's gonna pop right out here. A bunny rabbit. Look at that, a rooster. Look at that. And that's the last corn for 2023. Good job, Laura. It's been a good run, a long season. 50 days, a lot of hours, a lot of late nights. Here we are. That's a wrap on Harvest 2023. Thank you for so faithfully sticking along with me and Grant, the rest of our crew on our harvest journey this year. I realized that on one hand, it feels like it took forever. On the other hand, it went by in the blink of an eye. I remember day one like it was yesterday. And I know that next harvest season is going to be upon us, honestly, before I know it. But for now, I think I'm ready to relax. We actually have a lot of stuff that needs to be wrapped up. We can't just park everything in a building and then call it good. There is so much post-harvest maintenance and cleanup that needs to happen. We need to sit down in the office. We need to figure out what did all of our fields make bushels per acre wise. Are we going to be selling stuff in December, in March? We need to be looking at corn markets and soybean markets. We just kind of have a lot to do, but I'm looking forward to the holiday season and hopefully some rest. So although we didn't reach my goal of 500,000 subscribers, maybe we'll hit it before the end of the year. Thank you for coming along on my harvest journey. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. So it's been quite a long time since we've been to the PO box. Harvest has been kind of taking priority. And so we're doing kind of one big unboxing. We Grant and Gage here and somebody sent Pepper a little present here. I don't know if she's ever really had a cat toy, but she seems to really <laughs> like it. So thank you. To everyone who sends us stuff. We get some really interesting things and I love reading all the letters that you guys sent me. So just know it's appreciated. We've got a lot of boxes to go Pepper, through. <laughs> Pepper says thank Pepper's you Pepper's gonna eat that thing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at this awesome combine. Not quite ours, but pretty close. There it is, rolling in to get cleaned off. What, what a cool kid. piece of the collection. God, Oh, oh, oh double stuffed Oreos. You guys just made Gage's week. Oh, yeah. Good life.